Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose here, and you guessed it, we're back with the Shaw Titanium Barrel. And we're going to talk about it in detail and answer a lot of your questions coming up next. Alright guys, so there was a flood of questions. I, got, I even got emails off this uh, video. Uh, so I want to kind of try to answer some of those questions. We, I, I had a ton of positive stuff. I had some negative stuff. I had all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, number one, I just want to make sure that everybody is aware this gun is fully unloaded. Uh, there is nothing in the magazine. It's just a, an empty mag just for aesthetics. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll leave the bolt open. It is 100% completely unloaded. Um, couple of things that I really want to address. Uh, you know, there's always trolls in every, um, there's trolls in every video, right? There's, there's, there's people that sometimes make, um, really ridiculous statements. And, uh, one that I heard was, um, uh, Shaw doesn't know anything about barrels. They all suck. Um, and, and I want to be very clear. Uh, Shaw Barrels makes OEM barrels for over 80 different manufacturers. So if Shaw, in fact, was terrible at making barrels and didn't know how to do something, I assure you by now, yeah, they, they wouldn't have any customers. 80 OEM barrel companies, or they make barrels for 80 OEMs. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, the people that used to hate on other companies that make so many, you know, there's only so many barrel companies in the world, right? That make OEM barrels. So chances are you probably own a gun, whether you know it or not, that is using a Shaw barrel. So I would say that they are experts in what they do. Um, so, all right, I did take some notes. Um, so uh, one thing I did misspeak about in one of my... Um, question and answers and I want to clarify that is that <clears throat> this titanium barrel is not wrapped like a carbon fiber um, it has a stainless barrel that has an OD of five eighths of an inch until the taper begins so the bore is five eighths of an inch uh, until the taper begins uh, several inches forward of the chamber so somewhere right in this area here, um, there starts a taper uh, of that uh, from what I've been told. Um, now, is it a huge taper? I don't know. I've never seen one in the blank, but I do really want to have some more conversation with Shaw. And I think I'm going to speak with them in the future about um, maybe doing a, uh, a YouTube live where we can even answer some of the questions. Maybe they can bring some um, barrel components and we can talk about it. Um, I can tell you that uh, once I get back from Wyoming, my 7 rem mag will be getting rebarreled with one of these so um let's see so the way that this works right they they have a stainless barrel inside of this titanium it's actually a sleeve that is press fitted onto the barrel um and then it has a stainless nut that is rock set and torqued to spec near the muzzle Okay, so for those of you guys that have been following my channel for a long time, um, you know that uh, before doing the firearm stuff, I was really into the air gun industry. Uh, I worked uh, on a ton of FX air guns, um, did a whole bunch of work with those uh, air guns and, and a lot of others as well. Uh, I've shot just about, as a matter of fact, I have shot every um uh, major or even middle of the road uh, air gun manufacturer in the world. Um, 
very few that I have not. And if the ones that I haven't would be some of your just rebranded stuff, right? Um, but uh, this is basically the exact same thing as the FX uh, Impacts um, tension barrel system. And one thing that we covered when I talked about that was that torque setting, right? Is getting that thing exactly harmonized uh, by the amount of torque that we put on there. So the way that a barrel sleeve works is you would have, and I'm gonna use these as, as a matter of fact, this I believe was one of the tubes from one of the tension barrels. Um, you would have a barrel inside of a tensioned sleeve and when it was placed inside, you would apply torque to it, which would basically take the barrel and pull it taut, right? If you were to have like a floppy barrel, you know, your harmonics are gonna woo, 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 all over the place. The more tension that you pull apart on, right? Apart, um, the tighter this becomes and the less waves or nodes you will see um, in that barrel. So that's really how the tension system works. Uh, and one thing that, um, that I learned through talking with the uh, guys at Shaw is that it took a ton of research to figure out what that torque setting was in order to keep those nodes as flat as possible, right? Every barrel flexes. I don't, there's so much pressure in there. I don't care. I mean, I guess if you had like a 10 inch, you know, barrel with a, you know, a seven millimeter hole in the middle or a six millimeter, maybe that wouldn't flex. But for the most part, every barrel flexes, right? It's why a lot of long distance shooters run those big, thick bull barrels because it cuts down on those waves. Uh, but they're very heavy. So in order to combat that, um, you would do a tensioning system. This is definitely gonna be the lightest way to do so, right? Without it being a super pencil barrel that, you know, one shot and it's like, you know, you can't even touch the barrel. Um, so with this being tensioned and them doing the research to figure out um, how to get that barrel from a node like this to a node like, you know, like really, really, really small, like maybe can't even notice it. Um, took a lot of R&D and good for them because they did so. Um, I had some, uh, so that answers the question. People were asking, how is this thing constructed, right? Um, and it's just so well built. And titanium, you really can't get a better metal, in my opinion, uh, to put that tension, um, you know, where it's not going to shrink or, you know, flex or anything else. Um, so great job. Um, I had some comments about the throating um, and the rifling uh, degradating, right? Or deteriorating due to shooting. Um, and one thing that I know personally is I don't care what barrel or gun that you have, every barrel's got a lifespan. Every single barrel out there has a lifespan. You can, I've, I've literally, uh, shot with guys that have rifles from the 60s that they're just completely shot out. You, you can bore scope them and be like, wow, that thing is hit. I mean, like somebody really used that rifle, right? And, and that could be thousands of rounds. It could be hundreds of rounds. And every round is different, right? Everybody nowadays, we're all going for that speed, right? We want that speed. Maybe we even want speed with some heavier grain weights those are gonna burn up barrels quicker than anything else. They just are, it's just a fact, right? I have a 22 arc um, that I'm gonna tell you, I, I don't know if I'm gonna get 500 rounds out of it. I mean, maybe I will, I don't know. I mean, can some barrels maybe hold up to a few more? Sure, but I mean, stainless is a good barrel, you know, in my opinion, which is what's in this, uh, you know, wrapped in this. So, uh, you know, there's going to be that in every case, the throat's going to wear, you know, th I mean, it's just fact. However, uh, in speaking with, um, Shaw, they did advise me that they actually have a seven millimeter back country with this barrel on there. Uh, it's their demo, uh, barrel, right? So they got a seven millimeter backcountry that's super lightweight. 
I mean, honestly, like that's pretty BA. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's what I switch to when I do my. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Switch over to Seven Back Country. We'll do some research. I don't know. I'm going to leave it to you guys. What do you guys think I should do with my Seven Rem Mag when I have Shaw replace it with one of these barrels? What caliber do you think we should go with? And uh, why? Drop it in the comments down below for sure. But back to their demo they've got over a thousand rounds through it and they were transparent and said hey it does show signs of you know wear but it's still shooting point of aim point of impact the same as it did so good for them um you know time will tell you know i mean like i said there's always going to be haters there's always going to be somebody out there it's just like eh, my and what I found honestly is that the majority of people that are hating are they they heard it from somebody else and you know and so I I would I would honestly say to anybody out there who's interested in checking out one of these barrels go check them out uh, I can tell you this thing is phenomenal it shoots very well this is a super lightweight gun um, I did have some uh comments about man that muzzle rise that thing jumped all over the place this is a seven and a half pound gun shooting a six millimeter creedmoor i mean it's it, there's not a lot of recoil on my shoulder but it's extremely violent i mean it's just it is what it is you know you add a little bit of weight to this it's not going to move you know i mean you know the muzzle brake functions perfectly uh, you know, a lot of it is, is, you know, when I'm shooting this thing to zero it, I'm trying not to interfere with the rifle as well, right? So you got a seven and a half pound gun that I'm barely touching. I mean, my hand isn't gripped on this grip at all. It's just resting there. My thumb's on the thumb rest. And then I'm just barely touching that trigger just to get it to go off, right? So, you know, that that is what it is. But... We did, uh, you know, see that, you know, we're at half, three-quarter MOA with 13 rounds. That's all that's been shot through this barrel, even today, 13 rounds. It's very difficult for me to get out uh, and shoot at this time of year because, you know, I just had youth hunt with my son last weekend. Uh, I'm going elk hunting this weekend coming up. Um, and you know, and so I'm, I'm working on those guns in particular. Uh, so I just wanted to get this thing zeroed with this zero tech optic, which if you don't know, check them out. Um, this is their trace. Uh, this is one of my favorite, um, scopes, um, that zero tech has, and they are just, I, I absolutely love the optics. So, um, but, um, yeah, I would say that honestly like just go check these guys out you know i'm gonna bring you guys more videos we're gonna shoot a ton more uh, i actually have some newer ammo now uh, or some different ammo um you know previous to receiving this i was able to find one box of hornady black um in six creedmoor uh at my local dunham's um so nobody else local uh, really stocks it. Um, so uh, I did order some federal premium. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll go out and shoot some of that. Uh, I am going to do some reloading on this as well. So there's a lot more to come. Definitely check these guys out. Shaw barrels. Um, just phenomenal. Love it. Six millimeter Creedmoor. If you don't know, now you do. Don't think this is some kind of bandwagon thing. The round shoots. Till next time. Be good to each other. God bless. See ya.